Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on our Philadelphia 76ers as they try to wrap up the series tonight as they go in leading three games to one as they fell the last game of the series um, up in Toronto, 110 to 102 in a hard fought battle that the Sixers just didn't seem fully locked in playing their best A basketball. But they can easily get that back tonight and have a key component of course coming back tonight. That key component is none other than defensive wizard Matisse Thibel. So he's my number one honestly wild card key to the game. You'll see what my number one key to the game is in, in a few moments. But um, he's my number one wild card key to the game because he's only played 18 minutes of the first game he kind of got as bonus time because the Sixers were able to get that big lead and win 131 to 111 and just kind of destroy the Raptors out of the court of Philadelphia. But in the second game, uh, Thibault did only play 10 minutes, and I think that was honestly well designed by Doc Rivers, who at this year did a lot of lineup moves that I questioned uh, watching. He didn't do a lot of videos on my channel because I'm more of a basketball hockey guy, but during the playoffs, I do like putting out more videos on basketball, or a baseball hockey guy, I should say, on basketball. I like putting out more during the playoffs, but uh, he does make questionable decisions at times. This was not one that made sense to limit his playing time because then it got them set up to win one of the games in Toronto like they did 104 to 101 with being um, pretty used to playing without Matisse Thibel since he only played 10 minutes in game two and a lot of the 18 minutes were with the backups in the second game, the second half of his minutes basically um, because, or in the first game I should say, were with the backups because he got put in in the garbage time because they were up by so much and smacked them 131 to 111. They won 112 to 97 as Joel, the process of deed, was of course able to have a very good game of 31. Harris had 20. Max, he had 23 in that second game. And then in the third game, he had the beautiful turnaround already with the busted thumb. Joel Embiid's able to hit the turnaround three. So my second key is Joel Embiid's thumb. How good is he able to look like the legit Joel B because we did not have the full Joel B uh, scoring 21-8-3, and three, which is good for a guy not having the full effectiveness of himself. But we did not have the full Joel B last game. That's the second key. You need to have the full, whatever the 80% or whatever of Joel B is with the thumb, you have to at least get that where he wasn't able to do all the stuff that you're used to seeing him do last game. Hopefully he's able to do more of that this game, and Toby's able to step up more and get 20 or above and not be... Like last game, and Harden's able to step up and be more of the dominating uh, offensive component we know he can be, and not trying to look for too much around the court and just kind of let that alpha dog mentality kick in when it should kick in and pass when he should. So, if all those things can play into place, I think the Sixers are going to have a good chance to close out the series because, especially, a lot of those things didn't come into place in each game, and it's been Joe and Embiid being the carrying rate, the MVP. Plus, in the first game, it was Tyrese Maxey being the carrying weight, the MVP of that game. Joel B was the MVP of Games 2 and Game 3, winning it uh, on that turnaround shot in Game 3. And then also in Game 3, Maxey continued to play well. And uh, James Harden played solid, uh, scoring 19 as well. So, the Sixers, the keys are the guys that are playing sharp and Embiid and Maxey. And then Harden and Harris just have to continue to do their thing enough. And they'll be good. The biggest key is they got to obviously have the good defense they played more so, especially in the first game, in the second game, and not necessarily as much in the third game. That's why it ended up going to the um, overtimes where they did have some defensive walls in that. So more so like they played defense in the first two, which was in the home born, behind the home crowd than they did in the last two, and they're going to be set as long as they have that, they have Embiid play better with his thumb injury through his thumb injury than he did last game, and they have more from Toby and more from Harden than they did last game. I think this issue is going to be fine because I expect Embiid to at least mm -hmm. drop 20 or something and just hopefully it's a more effective 20 to 25. And then I could see Maxi just kind of taking a bigger bull by the horns roll if he sees Embiid kind of laboring a bit like it seemed mm -hmm. last game a bit, at least to me because of the thumb. And then maybe Harris will be able to have one of those games he goes off and has 25 or have Shake step up or have... Uh, Niang step up or somebody because I think the Sixers are going to need somebody to kind of step out of their shell here and step up in order to have um the best chance tonight in order to close it out and not let it get interesting going 3-2 to two, just because I don't know if you can expect after last game seeing it seem like he was laboring a bit maybe 
uh, being be able to get fueled by the home crowd or get him going. The full effectiveness of Joel Embiid, but he has played through injury before through a busted pack pretty much and has still played like a bat out of hell. So we'll have to see. But those are my thoughts on it. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use widget and go Sixers. Let's close it out tonight. My prediction would be they are going to close it out based off of what I said because I think those things have a good chance of happening. But I do have my concerns with uh, James Harden not being alpha enough and Tobias Harris at times kind of the same thing, kind of choosing to take wrong shots and then not taking the right shots all the time where in the first two I thought he was really good. In the last two, not as much for both of those guys, really. So they need to be sharper as well. But peace out, everybody, and stay safe.